My first guest tonight has sold over 130 million albums and in April will be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Please welcome John Bon Jovi. I'm a cowboy on a steel horse. I said I want it. Dead or alive. Said I want it. Dead or alive. Oh, yeah. There you go. Wow. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hi, nice to see you again. Well, thank you for having me. Do you, do you remember the first time we met? I do remember. You you've, do? You've done a lot to this place. It looks good. Right, right, because you Last time I was here, it was a real <laughs> home. <laughs> <laughs> now that we can say that on national television. Yeah. Um, welcome to the new CBS. Yeah. Um, we were at, uh, it was the party uh, before the Grammys. Yes, yes, yes. It was Clive Clive's. Davis has this yes. uh, famous party the night before the Grammys. Yes. And it was the greatest table of all time. It was. It was Cheryl Crow, you, Richie Sambora, me, and my 14-year-old daughter. I remember. Who it was, was sitting with night. Richie Sambora the whole time, and to this day she calls him her first prom date. Oh, <laughs> um, uh, Thank you. That's a great party. That is a great party. How many Clive's times have you awesome. been to that? Is it always a couple? A couple. Yeah, yeah Clive's a legend. You know, yeah. and it's, it's great to be around the real legends, still having them in this business. And Clive Davis is obviously one of them. For the folks that know, don't know, one of the great uh, yeah. innovators of the business. So, so that's where we we met. But I understand you actually spent some time with John Baptiste just this that past I year. That I did. What did you guys do? The Marion Anderson Awards down in Delaware, and yeah. I got to see Stay Human and. Uh, our foundation was uh, honored down there, um, a recipient of the Marion Anderson Award, and, and I got to see Stay Human for the first time. They made a hell of an impression. Came down the aisle, the tube was playing, the band's rocking. I'm going, who the hell is this cat? You know, and, and, and I, I've gotten to meet John a couple times since. Now, do you, guys, do you guys talk about, like, uh, like, the creative process? Did you learn anything from this guy? Yeah, I, was, I asked you how you write these anthems, and you told me. You gotta write the chorus. No so, matter who I'm writing with, I always write the chorus. Don't bore us, get to the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that, le that leads to my first question about you, John Bon Jovi, the performer, because like, you can probably teach writing, you probably teach singing, but how do you teach the performing? Like when you're like giant stadium, you know, you got 50,000 people there, you know, your center stage spotlight, the crowd, like you got the band going like this, the crowd's just like on the edge of orgasm. When you got that moment okay. right there like that, uh -huh. and the hair's, the hair's just flowing <laughs> like this, how do you then push them over the edge? When, when's the lean in come? <laughs> you know, it's just, it, you learn how to do that. You have. It's, it's not dissimilar from when you were playing in a small room by yourself. You're learning in front of everyone, anyone. You would be on a bill with four other comics in Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. um, the same kind of thing. We would play with the heaviest metal band to a pop band on the same tour. We'd travel the world over. We went to the Soviet Union, and my whole thing was talking to the people. Well, I go out there in the 80s in the Soviet Union, Russia, and, and I'm talking to the people and I'm realizing they don't understand a word I'm saying. <laughs> and then I go, okay, well, fine, here comes living on a prayer. And they're like, don't know that one. <laughs> Second night, same stadium, I come out and I take a Russian soldier, did the, you know, the old gag you've heard. I gave him Levi's, gave him some t-shirts, took his uniform came out in full Russian regalia and did a, a striptease. The hat, the coat, the gloves, uh, came on the stage, won the night. You have to learn how to, you know, gauge your audience and... So I guess my question is, how much of your act is striptease? Yeah. Because <laughs> you would sell some tickets. When I was a young, when I, you know, the name of my book is going to be I Used to Be Me. And then I would have, you know, but that would be, you know, in my 20s and 30s and 40s maybe, but, you know, now I don't know. Well, congratulations on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. Thank you. you guys. The... First album was when? 84. First album was 84, and then it's 25 years after that. You were first nominated in, in, in 2011. You got it this year. You've got so many honors already. Uh, you, you got the Grammys. You got the Songwriters Hall of Fame. What, what's this one mean to you that's different? Well, it, it, it truly does mean a lot, you know? I mean, we had been looked over a couple of times, and it's, it's really an honor to consider 
your being in the same building as the greatest of the greats, whether it was Elvis or the Beatles or the Stones. You know, it just, just the idea that the music that you made has been known to generations of people it makes you feel good. So if you started, you started in 84, yeah. it's, uh, it's 2018. What of that to 1984 John Bon Jovi is, is, is still in today's John Bon Jovi, other Ooh. than the amazing hair. What is, <laughs> what, 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 like, what, what, what could you go tell that guy and say, yeah, 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 that, that, that's not gonna go away, that's gonna last? Maybe the chip on his shoulder, you know? Oh, what's the chip on your you shoulder? You know, you just, you gotta work hard every day. You come out here and I watched you in the pre-show ritual of getting your audience into your show. You didn't, you're not dialing in. You uh -huh. come to work every day wanting to be here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I go to work every day wanting to be there. You know, with every record, it's the very best I have to give, as is, you know, the story of the band, same thing. Well, um, you, you also give back to your community. Tell me about the, the, the charitable endeavors you have uh, in, in New Jersey. Tell me about these restaurants. Um, the Soul Kitchens were created by my wife, Dorothea. She um, used it as an extension of our foundation, which was building homes. But after 2008, the idea of this uh, restaurant came when people who were in, in need, not because, um, well, because of the trying times we were in, the economic downturn. Bottom line is, we have two restaurants that feed a uh, paying customer as well as those in need. There's no prices on the menu. You are um, a participant and you earn your meal. It, we, we serve respect. Like how, would you, how would you do that? Let's say if if, if you that. were to come in, they'd ask you if you had been there before. And if you said, no, I'm not, and they'd say, would you like to volunteer or, or would you like to just dine with us? There's no prices on the menu. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if you want to volunteer, and if you don't, you sort of feel like you're missing out on the party. Sure. Um, you, can, you can leave a donation which covers your meal and, and the meal of somebody who may be in need. So we're feeding about a 50-50 clientele. And in our 33-seat restaurant, we've served nearly 80,000 meals in five years. And it's about 50-50. I've never... Well, you're a Jersey I've guy. Never, you I've should come sometime. I've never heard that idea before. I've never heard no, that idea Dorothea before. created it. It's an original idea. Um, it's, it's in Red Bank and in Tom's River, New Jersey. We have a couple of them now, and we're going to broaden the landscape. So, you know, sometime you should come down. But it's a fabulous model. It's about 50% of those in need and 50% who can afford to pay. So you want to directly affect change? Mm -hmm. Leave a 20 on the table, because you're directly affecting change by helping somebody, meet, you know, eat. And if you volunteer, mm -hmm. it's not just paying for your meal. We give you a certificate to pay for you and your whole family. So you bring your whole, so a 12-year-old kid comes in, folds napkins for 20 minutes, we just, he comes back with his whole family and we, we feed the whole family. And it's a beautiful restaurant. So how do you get the, like, uh, how do you normally get the word out about something like this? Because I've been told you are the self-proclaimed last person in the world on social media. Thank you very much. Okay, why, why, why are you not on the social media? Bill Belichick and Fred Flintstone had social media accounts before I would, you know? <laughs> I, I, Don't your kids push you to be on social media? They pushed me off. I, I got on this thing, <laughs> and I'm, I'm so bad, and nor do I care, you know, about this whole thing. And, and, and I, I showed a picture of me in the studio with David and John Shanks, our producer, and, and my two sons called me up and said, Dad, you just hit the exact location of where you guys are recording down on Broadway. <laughs> He's, You're an idiot. Turn the thing off, you know? <laughs> and the fans were already crowding well, out Well, the, the kids, street. you know, they, they made sure that they took my phone away from me. <laughs> um, well, you got, a, you got this tour uh, coming up. Uh, yeah, 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 yes, yeah. New single. New single. Re-releasing the album. Uh, this house is not for sale, but that's the track. When we were us, and uh, yeah, yeah. We're and the, the, the house is not for sale, yeah. which is, hold on one second. This all fell down. This all fell down when I was rocking out. This is the new album, This House is Not for Sale. That's the tour. Tickets go on sale Friday. Yeah. And I would love you, if you could, uh, to do a song uh, on the show. I didn't bring the band. You didn't bring the band? How, you didn't bring the band. How long would it take you to get the band here? Tomorrow? Can we do tomorrow? You do. So you guys can come back too. <laughs> then All how right. about tomorrow? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He'll be back tomorrow, everybody, to do a song. <laughs> Tickets for this house is not for sale. Go on tour Saturday. Sorry. One All second. Right. Hold on one second. I don't think I've ever disappointed an audience as much as I just did right now. <laughs> John Bon Jovi, everybody. We'll be right back. 
Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Now it's your turn to thank me. Click subscribe, and at the end of the next video, I'll thank you again.